Next on our list up here we have drop cap. I'm first going to though create a new document. Let's just make a new document here and give it a second to load that up. There we go. Let's do a letter size and vertical. I'll leave, I'll leave all those at their standard settings. Choose OK. Now the reason I'm doing this is to give us a little more text to work with. We can then play around with our text and do some fun stuff with that. So here's our page. Let's now open up something else. I'm actually going to import. Do a little import on this. There's our dialog box. Let's go into the materials folder. And I have a few things in here. This chapter one text we'll be using. And let's just do that first. I'll do import. And that looks all fine. There we go. And there it is. This is chapter one from H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds. I'll just click in here, a small place like that. And as it imports, as you can see here, it gives us a text box already. And there's an additional page of stuff. Go here to page two. It automatically gave us page two automatically gave us page 3 and page 4 and 5, 6 and down to page 6. So it needed additional pages and it gave us those additional pages right away. Let's go back here to page 1 again. So real nice tool on the import and we can then start by playing around and doing stuff with our text once we have imported that text. Now I'm going to grab this first letter here and let's go up to text and drop cap. I'll do use drop cap and there you go, get a little nice little drop cap effect. You choose a number of lines to drop cap. Right now it's three lines. There's a two line drop cap right there. Go back to three. Space after the drop cap. You can adjust the space after this. if you want. See there's the space after the drop cap. Put that back to zero again. And we can use a hanging indent style for the drop cap if you want to. Right, here it is without the drop cap and there it is with the drop cap. So interesting little tool. Allows you to very quickly and easily make this kind of drop cap. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.